Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 233. I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you are following me on Twitter at smthomas3. Today we're going to be talking about the Drupal 8 Publish Content Module. And this is a pretty simple module, but it allows you more fine-grained permissions for your content editors. So if you have a more complex content editing workflow where you maybe want some of your users to be able to publish or edit content, but you don't want them to necessarily be able to edit all the content on the site, you can use this module in combination with a few others that we'll talk about in future episodes to build a really robust content editing workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're on the Drupal 8 Publish Content page, or the project page. It's drupal.org slash project slash publish content. And we're going to be using the 8.x-1.1 version. If we head on over to our site, you'll see that we have it installed here. And it the first thing you need to do is you want to set up the permissions for it. This is the really the bulk of what the module is, is a bunch of extra permissions. And you can see there's the ability to publish any no, any of these articles, publish any that I have editable access to, so any that I can edit, publish any that you've created, so publish any of your own, unpublish any of them, unpublish any that are editable, or unpublish any of your own. And so it's just like any other uh, user permissions with roles, so I created a content editor role, and I'm allowing this content editor role to publish or unpublish articles, but I don't want them to maybe edit or be able to publish or unpublish the actual pages on the site. So that's kind of a difference that, you know, outside the norm, right? You don't want them to be able to change the core pages. Maybe you just want them to be able to contribute or um, edit the blog. So I'm going to set that up that way. I do have one user with that content editor role and if I go to content you can see I do have an unpublished article so I'm just going to copy this edit link and I'm going to drop it in here as I'm logged in as you can see at, with this content editor role so you can see I can edit this I can go ahead and click this link here to publish it and if I publish it now I can go ahead and view it or if I unpublish it, there's one bug here you can see. I don't actually have access to view the page that's unpublished. So we're going to talk about that in the next episode. But just keep in mind that there's a little bit, uh, it's, it's a, the workflow is not quite complete yet. But if I go, I can still edit it, and I can obviously publish or unpublish. The other thing that this publish content module allows you to do, besides just a publish and unpublish link as well as the extra permissions is it allows you to add unpublish and publish links to views so if I wanted to create a new view and then we're gonna show content of type article I'll, I won't create a page yet we'll just take a look at it and now you can see under fields if I add a field and I scroll down a little bit, there's a publish and unpublish link, which is just a link to publish or unpublish the node. So I'm just going to leave this at the default, and you'll see it just lists the title of the content, unpublish and publish. They're all set to unpublish because they're all published currently, but that would change if it was an unpublished. So it's just a useful way to build out, if you're building out an administration interface for your content editors, Maybe you had, rather than the main content page you wanted to build, here's just a blog listing page. And so you made it very similar to the content administration page, but it just listed the blog posts and you wanted to publish an unpublished link to allow your content editors to very easily um, publish and unpublish content. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. Subscribe on YouTube and go to codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter. Uh, we'll be back with the next episode where we'll kind of continue on some of this content editing workflow setup and make it a little bit more robust. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.